and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually going to Austin, Texas in a few days because it's my girlfriend's birthday. Jackie, it's her birthday. We're gonna celebrate in Austin, Texas. That's where she wanted to celebrate her dirty 30. Anyways, I wanted to share some tips on how to stress less slash like reduce your anxiety when you travel. I used to never get anxious when I traveled, but lately as I've gotten older, my stomach always doesn't feel so great after a flight. And most recently when I came back from Chicago, I had a really, really bad migraine when I came back that lasted a week and then I like threw up from the migraine. Like I've never had that happen before. And I don't know if it was because I was like a little bit stressed out with work and I was just a little bit stressed out with like traveling, whatever, but I'm fine now. So I just wanted to share some things that I'm planning on traveling with because I know it's gonna help like ease my mind and it's just gonna help me travel less stressfully. I know that's not a word, but anyways, so I've already started packing as well, kind of, there's nothing in there yet. I usually carry a bag of like medicinal stuff. I carry a lot of teas. I'm actually bringing these two guys. This one is from Yogi. It's Kava Stress Relief. It's supposed to ease tension and promote relaxation. And the other tea is, again, from Yogi. It's the Mango Ginger, and it's supposed to support healthy digestion. I actually want to show you guys the actual box that it comes in. The Kava one has, like I said, Kava Root. It has carob pot, I don't know, like a bunch of things, ginger root, stevia, but honestly, like I actually really taste the licor licorice and hazelnut flavor. If you guys don't like hazelnut or licorice, you know, don't buy this. Typically, I don't actually like using tea, like bags. I like to use just like the loose leaf tea, but when I travel, it's a little bit hard to carry around like loose leaf tea and like, you know, steep it and stuff like that. Typically what I do is if I do have like an upset stomach, I literally will go get ginger root and boil it in water and it helps my stomach so, so much. So I know that that is gonna help, probably not as much as like a fresh root, but I know that's gonna help settle my stomach. So I plan on drinking a ton of tea while I travel and there's no caffeine in it. So it's awesome. Another thing that I wanted to share, I carry this bag with me. Ugh. I love to carry wet ones. I swear, like, everyone gives me crap about it because I wipe down everything because I don't want to get sick. When I'm on a plane, I feel like my immune system is just, like, going downhill. So I like to wipe everything down, and everyone gives me crap about it, but, you know. So that helps me, you know, just feel more at ease while I travel. Another thing that I'm actually gonna bring this time around, I've never brought it with me to travel, but when I went to Croatia, we stayed at an Airbnb and the lady there gave us this lavender essential oils. I've been actually using this a little bit when I do yoga and it's helped me so much. It just puts you in like such a calm mood. So I'm gonna carry this around with me because this has helped me so much to just like relax and like stay calm. Another thing that I like to do is to do headspace. If you guys don't know what headspace is, it just helps you meditate and it's like 10 minutes. You could do longer, but I just stick to 10 minutes. I like to do headspace because it just helps me just breathe and just focus on being present and like your breath and it calms you down. So I really like doing that as well. Also in here, I like to carry a sleep mask because sometimes, you know, you wanna sleep on the plane and you can't because it's so bright and I find that when it's like pitch black, it really helps for you to fall asleep. All right, so what else? Oh, okay, so this guy. This is Nun Noon Hydration. I'm not sure how to say it. It's basically a tablet form. It looks literally just like the Airborns, if you guys have ever taken it before. I like this because A, it has electrolytes in it, and B, it doesn't have that much sugar in it. Added sugar is only two grams. I believe the other ones have a lot more sugar and it's way sweeter. I have this one in orange citrus. They have other flavors and they have it for like spore and for other things here but I got one specifically for immunity. This guy is I believe seven dollars for ten tablets. I got it at Target. My theory is like if I put this in a bottle of water and I don't finish it then I'm literally wasting money. So it just kind of like 
forces me I know it's stupid but it forces me to drink more water you can also take like vitamin C like the tablets like I have those too but I find that like I said if I take this I just drink more water so it's just like a win-win for me and I like to carry around a little fleece blanket with me because it's so damn cold on these planes the fleece one just keeps me super warm throughout the flight another thing that I like to carry with me is just some snacks typically snacks that have like higher calorie slash higher in fat because I find that sometimes I just don't have an appetite to eat on the plane and I just don't feel like my stomach can handle a lot of food in general on the plane. I just like to carry something that's easy to eat and has like minimal ingredients. A bar works too, but just found these like it was on sale. So I just picked these up. Okay. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, duh, it's a water bottle. <laughs> carry around a water bottle it helps you just like remind you to drink water my friend actually she says like anytime a flight attendant walks past her on the flight she'll drink her water like even if she's not thirsty it just like forces her to drink water and like remember to drink water and the reason why i bring a water bottle with me is because i'm sick and tired of buying water at the airport because it's like four or five dollars there's a lot of stations where you could just like fill it up these days at the airport so I mean, it's like the small things. I know these things aren't like crazy, like, oh my God, really? But it's just like small things that has helped me just feel less stressed as I travel. I know that this video was like super not <laughs> fun, but I just wanted to show you guys like my real life. I haven't been able to vlog much um, last week because there wasn't that much going on. But like I said, there's going to be more fun vlogs. We're going to Austin, going to Mexico City the weekend afterwards. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And in all realness, like, if you guys are suffering from anxiety or you tend to just like not feel very comfortable when you're traveling to a new place, trust me, you're not alone. I have traveled so many times and still, I still feel like anxious sometimes traveling. So just know that you're not alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any tips on like how you guys reduce your anxiety and stuff, let me know down below. But in the meantime, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.